Japanese pop art has several acknowledged masters, but there's one in particular whose brilliance is recognized not only in the international art community, but in the world of fashion and beyond. Takashi Murakami is a thoroughly modern, modern artist. Even beyond his work, which is fantastic, he engages the public like no artist since Andy Warhol in the 1960s. And Murakami has his own hair. The current surge of interest in Japanese pop art really kicked off with a young artist named Takashi Murakami. Bored with the stagnant world of traditional Japanese art, he looked to contemporary culture for inspiration. And he found it in the otaku or uber-nerd passions of anime and manga. He has created subversive characters with names like Mr. Dob, a mad manic mouse, and Kai Kakai, two cute animal figures with an abundance of eyes. He dubbed this new style Super Flat referring to the way it flattens tradition, modernity and even other media into a new oneness. I met him at his studio outside Tokyo, where he showed me his latest rendition of Mr. Dob. Wow, this is incredible. Can I ask you, I hope this doesn't seem uh, crude, how much would a, a, a painting like this fetch? One point three million dollars. Wow. Oh. It's very kind of you to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> What makes Murakami a true pop artist and a hugely successful one is his spin on Andy Warhol's idea of turning consumer products into art. Murakami turns his own art into consumer products. His mountain of merchandise includes Murakami toys, Murakami sweets, badges, flowers, Monopoly, calendars, cuddly toys. When is something you make, when is it just a toy? Mm. Or when is it a piece of art that can be used as a toy? Is there a difference? Japanese people really love in art, but you know, Japanese people, same time, cannot buy the art piece. Mm. That's why I'm making for the merchandise. Mm. Something like that, $200, $300 is okay. He also collaborated with fashion icon Louis Vuitton on this bag, which sold for $5,000 and became one of the most copied handbags ever. He even went full circle and made an animated art film for Louis Vuitton that was perhaps the ultimate blending of art and commerce. By creating characters based on anime and manga and giving them a darker twist, Murakami is making powerful statements about post-war Japan. It is a cultural you know, problem because we lose a war, so it looks like a, our culture doesn't have... A, Ball? <laughs> Impotence? <laughs> so you were that, yeah, why... castrated by the war. Some might say the Japanese invented cute, giving us the likes of Hello Kitty as a reaction against the brutal image the war had given the country. That's why probably after war, the people can create a very reasonable way to the entertainment. Mm. The manga is uh, super reasonable. Yeah. It seems to be that people are looking more to Japan, to the East, for inspiration, and that you, you are more influential now. Is that, do, is that fair, do you think? Is that, is that true at the moment? Maybe, you know, wave for that. You know, now is a Japanese something. The Japanese wave? I think so. But Murakami doesn't look only to manga and anime for inspiration. Some of it comes from good old Mother Nature. It's interesting, because you can see these shapes in his work, just like the great Victorian artists were inspired by nature as well. Look at that, that could be something in, you know, you put that through a computer and bung some colours on that, that's it. Although you know, if you're a man and you check your prostate on a regular basis, you can avoid having that happen to you. <laughs> uh, Murakami-san, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure, thank, thank you. you and continued success with your work. I think it is fabulous. Thank you. Arigato gozaimashita. To find out how much of an effect Murakami's super flat movement has had on modern Japanese art, I went to this exhibition, held every year to help up and coming artists get their work seen. I think he's made a huge achievement. Japanese pop art has a tremendous amount of power. Otaku is no longer a specifically Japanese thing. The characters I created are images of healing. 
They are round and fat with bulging bellies. The first time I saw Murakami's work, I was very impressed with the way he combined his art with manga. I really love manga since I was a kid, and when I started working as a graphic designer, we were also creating characters. It was then that I first got interested in characters as a method of expression. So Murakami's super flat movement has inspired a wealth of young artists soon to be unleashed on an unsuspecting art world.